Hey everyone, it's Thursday. Or <laughs> All right, start Thursday. Over. Hey everyone, it's Thursday today. And look who I have with me. Here I am, Joanne. Joanne. <laughs> All right, okay. So, did you know that today is Write Your Story Day? Oh. Did you know that? No. Mm. I'm going to ask you some things about your story. Okay. How about our story? Our story. We have a story. Yes, we do. All right. So I just had the privilege of talking to a room full of women on uh, International Women's Day in Winnicani. They wanted me to talk about my story and my business and all that kind of stuff. And that, that, that wasn't the funnest <laughs> But it was fun, all right? Um, just writing the story was a little, uh, you know, a little nerve-wracking to what What should I talk about? What shouldn't I talk about? You know, should I swear? Should I not swear? You know, is it okay to say hell? I don't, that's what I mean by swearing. I said hell. Uh, yeah, so here are some of the pictures Kaylee is shooting there. And it was super fun. I got to share my story with them. Hopefully, I inspired somebody to, you know, keep going and that, your story for life and business is not like this. You know what I mean? It's a lot of up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And um, we all have crap in our lives and it's how you deal with it when it happens to you, whether I think you uh, let that take you down or you use it to be better or accomplish more. You use it as fuel, right? So Joanne here yeah. has been with me from the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Before, came, before the beginning, came to the house and her dining room was uh, full of fabric folds. Yes, it was. And she said, um, I would like you to make samples for me. And she says, what kind do you think you'd like to make? And I said, hmm, hand applique. And hand she does. says, I, I was hoping that's what you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And part of my story was, um, speaking of like having stuff in my uh, dining room, is that um uh, when I first went to talk to a bank about a, a business loan, they basically laughed at me, right? You know, they're like, oh, no, we don't think that that's a good business. So I therefore never did business in Menasha uh, at all because they turned me down. So I just winged it for a while. And then uh, one of my customers, Mary, was a banker, and she came in and helped me sort all that kind of stuff out. So nice. that's how I was able to buy fabric on my uh, own credit card limit. <laughs> Okay, but I finally yeah. got straightened out. So even though somebody tells you no, I didn't let it stop me, or I didn't let them let it think it was possible that I could still have a store. All right. Okay. So, all right. So you're gonna do samples for me. I'm gonna do samples, and I did that to get the samples started for the store. Right. And then I uh, worked for a few years on the floor. Yes, you did. Yeah. And. Uh, it, the best part about that is helping people pick out fabric mm -hmm. because they're pretty good at picking out fabric. Well, right? They wouldn't even be thinking outside of the box a little bit. So yeah. that was a lot of the fun and making so many quilt friends. Yes. That's yes. the best part, right? Yes. So now you're here today, right? I am here today because I have uh, a group called uh, Stitches Gathering and um, 17 of us are at the retreat house. And some are coming in each day. Okay. Like it would be day like a, students. Yes. Okay. And, and going home to sleep at night. But five of us chose to stay over. Okay. And I want you to know so far, the food has been fantastic. Surprises. Uh huh. And everybody's yeah, enjoying Yeah, she cooks some stuff that you've never had before, right? And you oh, never yeah. even dream of. Yep. That's what I think it's cool. Is yep. that, and you know, you're eating from scratch, clean. Yeah, good food. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we're having a great. What do you think time. about that bread today? Oh, yesterday too. <laughs> and I'm a bread person. So, so much. Is, and and the blueberry, um, quick bread. Like yeah, like, quick bread. To, well, to me, it tasted. It was a bread, but it tasted like the best uh, blueberry muffin you ever had. Oh, yeah, awesome. it was so good. Yeah. Yeah. So we're having a great time over there, and uh, three gals came in last night. And so we've already gotten to know them. Yeah, they got three, three more new friends, right? They are wonderful. Yes. Enjoying I got to give them a tour pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, so not so you have a group and your group meets once, once a, a month. month. Mm -hmm. Once a month. And what is the focus of your group? Um, 
um, fellowship with other quilters. That's the main. That's quilters. the main thing. Yep. Uh, you we, and I have always been about that, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And we don't want machines. If other groups are there, that's fine. But our own group does not do machines because we want to talk, right? And we don't want to be drowned out by machines. But perfect for the, for the three day one we're doing right now. We allowed machines because a lot of them are piecers, right? And so, um, so it wasn't even my idea, but Pat Pollock, yeah, asked me one day if she could ask a question um, regarding maybe we should do a retreat. Mm. And yeah, because you're three meeting at this retreat. retreat center, right? Right. And so that's what got this whole thing started. And, and she and Sue Hiddle have been making little goodies for us. Aww. And that's what makes it so special, and, and right? And some door prizes. And so it's just been a lot of fun. Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. And Joanne welcomes new people. You can come join Stitcher's Gathering, yes. right? Yes. And maybe in the future. We would have another three-day retreat yes. because I think we would all vote. You should have one a year. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So speaking of um, fabric and whatever, you have a little sample for You want a yeah. little show and tell for us, I right? did bring my show and tell because... I call it show off and so tell. So if you remember, I did a lot of um, um, applique to begin with, and then we went to wool with crazy quilt yeah. type things. And then... English paper piece. It became obsessed. And now I'm not quite because I'm back at hand applique. Oh, okay. With, with, with more of the exciting new lines of fabric. Mm -hmm. And one of them is the tilde fabric. Oh, so yeah. So this was a pattern. Permanent um, Gatherings has tilde fabric. If yeah, you did not know that. Yes. Come here for tilde fabric. Um, so on. Tildesworld.com. Mm -hmm. All her former lines of fabric are there, and there's some free patterns. Lots of free patterns line. there. So this one is from a line previous, but I use the hibernation, our first line of fabric in it, here as um, okay. So that you want me so, to hold one up while you talk? No, that's okay. Okay. So so this is uh, there's a row of three of these, and then a row of three of these down below it and right now i'm working on the three that go below that so this is in the top row middle row and there's a bottom row so there's 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 nine all right and go on tildesworld.com and um download you can just download and the yep. instructions are very very good good they were for for this one mm-hmm and I have some other friends doing this too. All right. And some are just doing pillows. And then, well, Kaylee, I guess I, I guess I was zoom in on this guy right here. I guess I was encouraging Tilda because uh, one of the gals has made two piece Tilda, Tilda quilts already. And so, yeah, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, and stay, stay right here, Kaylee. So I just want you guys, I want Joanne to explain her method of what she does for hand applique and what does that mean? So like in this block, how would you prep it? How would you make this stem? Okay. And what are the what are okay. what are the things you use that you found most most the easiest way? Well, first off, I'm a fussy cutter. Yeah. So that's, so that's what this means. She fussy cut this yeah. this yeah. this cute little partridge or yeah. whatever that is in that leaf. It, it's it's a bird hibernating. Yeah. <laughs> you got she got another one there yeah. yeah yeah and not everything can be fussy cut but uh you can take uh fabrics from the middle of things that make perfect leaves you know you you, you got to look around your fabric so do you, are you putting things. so you're saying you're fussy cutting so are you putting are you using freezer paper i use freezer paper okay so do i so that's why i'm just i and think then you I, did yeah and then i needle turn under right so do you is your needle is your freezer paper on top of the shape or is it inside on top? Yeah. And if something's going to go underneath, I just learned this from a friend <laughs> a couple months ago. I always uh, left some extra paper there with dots to show it was going to go under something. Now you cut out the exact, the exact shape and just leave your fabric around and you lose a liquid chalk pen and just draw where something's going to go over the oh, top. Yeah. And that's your guideline to so turning it for, well, for pinning it on, yeah. I use these tiny little pins. And so that was one of the newest things I just discovered. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, we're always learning. Yep. How do you yep. make your circle? See this fussy column oh, here? Yeah, I love making circles. And the circles I make, uh, you know, you have those uh, sheets with the, all the circles yes, and you template. have your pick size. And um, uh, I cut little pieces of card of heavy paper. And then I baste, uh, draw a the same size circle on the fabric. Take a little bit of um, the, um, the glue, the glue stick and have the paper stick to the fabric and then you baste around it the seam allowance in the seam allowance and pull mm -hmm. and make a little so knot it squinches all up yep mm -hmm. and then i spray it with a little bit of um starch starch and um press it flat mm -hmm. get all the the uh points out yeah, and so then, it's nice and round, right? And then I let it sit for a little while to make sure all the moisture is out. And then you take the paper back out, and then you just put it on and mm -hmm. stitch around it. Perfect. Yeah, nice. Perfect. And the stems I make with a, a bias maker. Yep, I like yep. those too. Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. Yep. And sometimes and these are nice big shapes, aren't they? I, I admit I was jealous. We had a new gal come a couple times for stitches gathering and she came with these huge appliques and i i looked at it and go oh i wish that was mine and then as soon as i saw this on tilda's world i go it is mine yes you're gonna i'm it. going to do it these are gorgeous i can't wait to see it and they all have the same blue background they all have the same blue background and then you sew them together and they and um you have a two inch border yet around that okay just the same blue uh-huh yeah Cool. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Yes, these are gorgeous. These are the only two you have done, or you have more done? Oh, no. <laughs> I've got three big ones to go. Okay. Yeah. That's it, huh? Yeah. Three big ones to go. Awesome. Yep. All right. So you can just sit here while this, okay? You don't have to okay. run off on me. Okay. All right. <laughs> we we skipped right into Joanne. We didn't do any of those announcements. Yeah, and we're announcement. not going to do those until the end. <laughs> we're going to do the announcements at the end. And the prizes. I didn't pick prizes today. That's okay. We'll, we'll take care of it. You know it. One big one and two little ones. <laughs> okay. All right. So on with our theme about write my story. Mm -hmm. All right. So Heidi asked a couple of our um, listeners, readers, whatever, followers, uh, to send in a little story if they had a primitive gathering story uh, and, and how, you know, what this means to them. So I want to read a couple of their stories for you because I think they're interesting, all right? And some of them, two of, two of them are short, and one of them is a little bit long, or I have four here, yeah, right? Have four. I have four here, all right. So I'm gonna read one of these stories, and we would love to hear your stories. We, we need to use these in our marketing <laughs> and anything like that. So if you wanna, if you have a story, you didn't, maybe you didn't catch Heidi's uh, request for this, it was on yesterday's blog post, and it was way down at the bottom in the last two sentences. So if you're like me, I'm like, yeah, picture, picture. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe always read the last paragraph. Yeah. Heidi says always read the last paragraph <laughs> on her blog because she's always giving that's stuff away or asking blog. for things. Yeah, it's our blog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just call it how it really is, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So she had three stories sent in, and then we had one from one of our guests here. She wrote us something. So this one is from Sherry, and I'm just going to read it quickly. And if you have any questions or comments or whatever, please throw those in the feed there because we are Heidi's picking winners. All right. Hi, Heidi. Okay. I'm not sure if we've met. I'm awful at names, but I sure can remember her face. Anyway, I want to tell you how important primitive gatherings has become to me. I am one of the sisters. Ask Erica, Lisa, or Peggy, and they will know. My sister-in-law, Sue, and I started coming to the retreat shortly after it opened. She comes from the north and I come from the south and we happily meet at the gathering. At first it was for a day, then an overnight, and now it's usually a monthly two-night stay. We try to work around sit and stitch, but not always. We call this our monthly therapy. Last, we counted on staying over 30 nights total. Not to have, not only have we met so many amazing people, but the things we've learned from all those talented quilters, stitchers, and teachers, as we have taken a few classes too, the gathering has truly become my happy place. We will see you in April for Laura Heine's class. Sadly, we have to miss March. 
keep the needle moving, Sherry. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. All right. So then we have another one from Mary Jane Price. I've been meaning to write to you the past couple of years and then reading Lisa's blog on Friday gave me this incentive to do so. I am sure, like a lot of us, you have helped us through COVID and lockdown. Thank you. My husband received a diagnosis of Alzheimer's about the time of the lockdown. And, the, and then it progressed to his passing in August of 21. At the age of 96, he was a World War II veteran and so proud of his service. He should be. We had an age difference of 25 years. I guess I'm an old soul and he was always young at heart. He was so supportive of my quilting and encouraging of everything I did. Thank you, Lisa, and everyone at PG. You are the best. Mary Jane Price. My mother started me sewing when I was five. I'm now 74. Embroidering dish towels. I still have a few of them that she dated. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, Mary Jane. That was great. All right. Number three. I came to the gathering at Primitive Gatherings for the first Naughty and Nice Retreat. The gathering had only been open a few months at the time. I dragged my sister along. We had a blast. Since then, I've attended four more retreats and won't admit how many I've signed up for this year. It's been so inspiring to meet some amazing women. From stay-at-home moms to engineers to rowdy grandmas, Lisa has a way of convincing every person that stays that they're her favorite. <laughs> hey, quit telling everybody. <laughs> I've now started bringing my local quilt guild on these retreats. It's been such a blessing for all of us. Primitive Gatherings has brought such a joy to my life. I can also blame you for having more works in progresses. Thanks, Lisa, and all the amazing staff that continue making PG a destination. And that's Maria Hansen from Minnesota. All right. This next one, this is the doozy. Yeah, it's all long. right. <laughs> all right. Hi, Heidi. Lisa asked me to write this up and send it to you because she was telling me her story one day. And I said, you need to write this down for us. It's If it's too long, you can take some out. <laughs> We're not taking anything out, Laura. All right. I first heard about Primitive Gatherings when I found out it was being built along the Highway 10 as we headed up north. One fall afternoon, I stopped at the shop to see what it was all about. I was amazed. I found out about a retreat center and talked to my friend Joe to see if she wanted to go. And we did. February 2023 was our first trip. I was just coming out of loss of four family members and a grandson's father. And before all of that, I was dealing with a daughter on heroin. I was in a very dark place for years. I didn't make any quilts or even felt like it for about five years. By the time I went to the gathering, my daughter had been clean for four years. I was just coming out of my darkness. Six months on the couch and horrible social anxiety. I was beginning to see friends and family again. When I got to the gathering, I was so excited. It was Joe and I and nine people we did not know. I was okay with that. At the time, I felt safe with Joe. She has become my BFF. Her husband died four hours after my dad on February 13th in 2022. Lisa was working on one of her tiny half square triangle quilts. To make a long story short, we had the best time. By the end of our stay, we had friends. Here's what happened that made me have one of the best years for a long time after being at Primitive Gatherings. First, meeting Lisa and talking to her. She is so upbeat and so smart at running her business. Her family that we met would be a family I would love and love to be a part of. She was so sharing with her knowledge and really cared about us. I really look up to her and I sit every Thursday and wait for live with Lisa. It makes my week. I hope you're on here, Laura. <laughs> Second, I learned how to do wool applique. All my years, I hated handwork. We were having lunch and my friend Chrissy that I met there and Lisa talked me into ordering the wool box and making the two year project flower garden. I am obsessed now with wool applique. I did make the one year project as well. Third, when we left there, I had nine new friends, nine new friends who we met up again in February of 24. And we are meeting up there again in February of 25. And hopefully every year from now on. And Chrissy became one of my very best friends. She even came to a retreat in Missouri with all of us last fall. You truly do make lifelong friends there. Then after I got home, I took another plunge to make Twilight Stars using Lisa tri Lisa's triangle papers. I made one inch half square triangles and made 25 blocks for a wall hang. Never in my life would I have tried that if not seeing Lisa doing it at the retreat. 
So I have to say, Lisa, the girls at the shop, her family and the retreat center has made a huge difference in my life. It's hard to explain. I feel like I have really started living again and loving quilting. My husband even put up a 24 foot of shelving for my fabric and turned the basement into a really nice studio. God puts people in your life for a reason. Embrace him. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? That's wonderful. Oh, yes. Yeah. So thank you to all who share. And that was Laura Krasinski. Thank you, everyone, for sharing those stories with us. That was super nice for you to take the time to do that. And it is hard, but I encourage every one of you to write down your story somewhere. Just keep, keep a little uh, journal of that. Just go back and try to figure out some of the things, whether it's everything, right? Anything and everything, just write it down because someday you might have to do what I did and it wasn't easy <laughs> to go back and to figure out what year did I do that and what year did I do that? And if you have that, now I have that talk if I ever have to do that again, you just have to do it once and it's there. So, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. So you have anything more to share with us? Uh, no, no. I, I think I'm good. Um, you have made some really good friends here too, right? Oh, yes. I I have so many wonderful, close, close friends yes. through quilting. Yeah. You do all kinds of challenges and all kinds yeah. of stuff with your group. Yeah. Hey, yeah. if you're looking for some friends, yeah, her group at the, at the gathering is a nice safe, beautiful, accepting group, all, yes. you know, yes. I mean, yes. they don't want you to bring your machine, but, <laughs> but they will uh, get you hooked on heck, uh, paper piecing, applique, wool applique, all of this stuff. And we're willing to teach anything. Yeah, and, yeah. And we, we don't have come, to take any classes. And yep. we don't have to have a lot of experience because we do have experience there. Yep. And everybody's willing to share. Yep, everybody's willing to help yep. everybody else yep. and get you hooked on the same stuff that yep. we all love. Yes. and you know, one of the greatest things about quilting is you're enthusiastic about it and you want to see others as enthusiastic right. as you are. We make some cool stuff, don't we? <laughs> yeah. You want we, everybody we wonder what everybody else does who doesn't stitch. Yeah, I know. What are they doing? Yeah, all what day? are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Awesome. Yes. All right, yeah. dear. Okay. That's all I got. Thank, Thank you. you for joining me today. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Yes. Thank good. You. All right. Go back to your retreat and yeah. your friends. Yep. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, wasn't that fun? Yeah. All right. So I have a couple announcements here. I want to show off a couple things. And um, if you have any questions, ask them in the group and we will get to those after I'm done with the announcements. All right. So join us for Wool Club at the gathering. So if you specifically want to learn Wool Club, Jess runs the Wool Club, and the next one is March 20th, and we will feed you lunch, and you can stitch from 9 to 4 that day. Just bring your project that you want to learn, and everybody will get you started. If I'm around, I'll help. Don't worry. Much, much people around here that can help you get into trouble. <laughs> then, this is Joanne's group called Stitcher's Gathering. They meet next on March 25th. And then on April 8th, so if either of those groups or those dates meet and you want to join their group, you met Joanne now, so she doesn't seem like uh, she's too scary, right? You could hang out with her. <laughs> Come join us again, $25 for each one of those sessions, 9 to 4, and that includes lunch as well. Sit and Stitch, this is the group that I am there mainly for. Unless for some reason, if I'm off on a week teaching like I have in Mackinac in May, um, this next one is March 26th, where you can bring anything that you need help with. Or if you just want to sew with friends, meet new people, great opportunity there. And then on, let's see, March 29th, we have the Flying Needles Knitting Club that meets, and that is also $25, 9 to 4 Cross Stitch Club, April 3rd, same day, same, same thing, 25. Bernina Social, next one is April 8th. And I'm sure we don't have a, oh, this is coming up. Here's an opportunity for you. Uh, if you are local and want to pick up a Friday fish lunch, we are going to have carry out on March 22nd. Erica had gained a nice following for Friday fish. 
during uh, when we were just starting off and we didn't have a lot of business here. Friday night, she would offer fish lunches and they became a hit. And now everybody's begging. So she has brought it back. <laughs> we're too busy now, but she must have found a little crack there where we didn't have something. So lucky for everybody around here. And then we have um, Miss Linda Hershka coming, the Quilted Pineapple, March 22nd and March 23rd. I do not know if there's any openings, but you can always call Peggy at the gathering and she can let you know if there's any room in her classes. And she is teaching custom long arm or domestic quilting. You can do it either way. She teaches you how to plan, how to mark and how to execute. And either of that can work on a long arm or a domestic. And those prices and everything are there on that as well. And then we have April 5th through April 6th is another finishing with Kathy and Peggy. And this is finishing anything, whether it's a cross stitch, a punch needle, any ornaments or anything like that. If you need help with finishing or wanna get some more ideas instead of just framing your stuff, this is a great class for you as well. And, e and even bring your projects and they will, you can work on your project and finish that. Then we have Laura Heine and she has two classes. Jess, are any of these, are there room in, a little bit of room in here? A little bit of room in both. Okay, a little bit. The April 10th and 11th is class one, and that is the Ho 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 Santa. And then class two, 13th and 14th, with is the Spool of Flowers collage. Again, all the details are there, whether you want to just be a day student, whether you want to come and stay, we have a little bit of room there. And then I all want to encourage you to come to this event, and that is that we're going to have on the 23rd, and it is... Uh, HP from Bernina. Mr. Olchi, he is coming. We want to really show him how much we all appreciate what he has made, his family has done, bringing Berninas into our lives. Whether you're a Bernina owner or not, this is still a huge success story. You want to hang out with him. He looks like a pretty cool dude, and I think we're going to have a very fun time. We have... Um, some events there that we're going to have some people on site, some make and takes, that kind of thing going on. And then we're going to have a little Q&A with, with him and I as well. I didn't know all that. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew I was going to have a Q&A, but I didn't know we had a, a event schedule here, which is going to be nice. All right. And we want to show him that uh, he's going to sign machines if you uh, take one home with you. Also, we are going to give that beautiful CAFE machine away. So somebody is going to go home with a $3,200 machine that day. Jessica is going to bring it here and set it here. I could, I could use that beautiful blue machine. <laughs> and it has those big Bernina bobbins in that. It's a really fantastic middle of the road machine. So it's not, you know, an entry level machine. It's not the high end, but it's a beautiful middle of the road machine and this is probably equivalent to what nick bought me back when uh we were just dating and he buys me this you know really expensive bernina sewing machine so i had to marry him he's gonna say you he know, sealed the deal with feel that. the deal yeah who's gonna buy who's gonna buy their girlfriend uh you know i think it was like 22 or 2400 dollar machine you know we like fine yeah 20 <laughs> 26 years ago so i'm like oh darn <laughs> Because I was I was stitching on a Sears Kenmore <laughs> that I that I you know I think paid four hundred dollars for and I had to put on a layaway. <laughs> Remember layaway? Yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna give that machine some credit. Look what it look what it did. Well, it started me off. Yeah, yeah it started me off. But then I got the Bernina, and then it was like, Phew. I'll tell you, having a, a good tools really makes you better. I don't care what anybody says. Um, also. With Mr. Olchi coming, I just think it's just going to be fun opportunity for us here in Wisconsin to have him here because he picked us to come and visit. So we got to show him how cool we are. We're gonna the girls are working on some real fancy hors d'oeuvres and who knows what. We'll have some, lots of door prizes, I'm sure, and all that kind of stuff. All right. So those of you doing uh, motor blockheads, I remember I was sick last week, so I'm like I'm not doing one. I'm too sick. But I had fun picking out all those fabrics. So this was last week's and this is this week's. I believe this was one of the Ruby Star Girls 
I'm really bad at knowing five different designers names so I don't know which Ruby star <laughs> and this one was Stacy I can't pronounce yeah her. I can't pronounce her name yep Jess you know how to pronounce her name Stacy I like, I used to, it, yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's yeah awesome Stacy so she did this block I'll have to admit this was a this is a little weird block but I made it mm -hmm. I thought oh that's different on how to put that together but it all came out and of course, I don't know if you remember, but my, all my blocks have, it's really colorful, but I always have navy and gray in my blocks. So navy is my fabric that you're going to see in everything, and the gray is my background. Aren't they cute? And then, of course, what week are we on? For? Uh, well, this week will be well, 40. 40. Yeah. So week 40, so we will have 80 blocks done as of this week, if I find the two I lost coming in here, yeah, right. well, I lost two half square dry. They've got to be somewhere and they've got to be together because how, yeah, how did that happen? I'm going to go look in my truck in a minute. So they better be in there or they're somewhere from my sewing room down to my truck coming here. Because I know they were just there last night. I just was oh, too tired. You lost two more? Two, not two blocks, two squares, oh, two, two triangles. It's like, here we go. <laughs> That's worse. Can't That's worse. worse. Yeah. I'd yeah. rather, I rather make block. the whole new block. <laughs> All right. So Donna May, you have won week 39's blocks, which were last week's blocks. Remember, Twilight Stars release on Fridays. There they are. Remember, keep posting, keep posting. The winner of our weekly postings. We'll get their quilt quilted or a 200 and That's some dollar gift card. The grand prize. The grand prize. Yep. Yep. I don't remember, yeah. but something like so that. So the, the winner each week gets a charm. Yeah. The winner each week gets a charm. Gets and a charm and goodies. some goodies. The grand prize winner of the, all the weekly winners, we're going to put throw all them in a hat and we're going to pick out who gets their quilt quilted or the gift card or whatever you call that rewards points, whatever you want to call it on our website. So that's what we have. Donna May, you are the winner. All right. Do we have any questions from our short, cute little live this week? Yes, ma'am. I've got a few for you. And they're all kind of random. So Okay. Wait. Random. Okay. I like random. Uh, was there ever a tutorial on paper piecing done? I did find one on English paper piecing. But I don't I think, think we ever did. A regular. No, it's not my favorite. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> learn. Well, there you go. You guys could film learning yeah we'll, we'll, together. we'll put it on the list <laughs> jessica can do it <laughs> all right okay. you know why i hate ripping the paper out i thought that was nick's job well that's, that's different that's yeah. different you make the whole block and it has it's full of paper and you have to like get and it you out have to sit there and peel it, it off remove it kind surgically of? remove it yes it. okay next question will will there be a block of the question mark this summer no. So month or no? No, she's asking, will there be a summer block of the week? We used to do like three at a time. We used to do a pieced one, an applique one, and then an English paper piecing one, like a hand piecing one. And Joanne would run the hand piecing one. I would do the wool one and whoever would do the piecing one, depending on what it was. Um, sometimes Amy did them, sometimes Jess did them, sometimes I did them. But we used to do that back in the day when we could ship a block for $3.50. Well, that's no longer the issue. So we have therefore let them go. And we continually have different quilt alongs, different stitch alongs going on. And we will continue to keep starting and stopping them as we go on. And as we see fit, I was cleaning yesterday and came across a bunch of my ideas it's really good when you clean because <laughs> then you find out oh yeah i remember jotting that down or oh yeah i remember this you found them one one is not good i need two <laughs> <laughs> try again yeah so it's probably one's probably in the hallway going down the stairs the and my of course my uh dog might have ate it yeah <laughs> no we'll he won't eat that yeah put it right over there um but yeah, I'm looking for one more. Where was it? In the parking lot or in the truck? Back in the truck. Back of the truck. <laughs> so thank you, All Nick. Right. Is there any information available about the mini quilt sew along that you mentioned a while ago? Nope. Ahead? We'll get on it. <laughs> okay. Um, but throw up throw up the icon. We're gonna be talking about this too pretty soon. All right. Blue and White Quilt Show 2024 will be getting all the information out for sure before April 1st about the mini quilt show is going to the mini quilt along is going to start on 
April 1st as well. Mm. No. Nope. It doesn't come out until the 23rd. At April. 23rd. We got a stager. <laughs> 23rd. April 23rd. All right. I like that number. The 23rd of each month? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because that was your favorite number. So. Yeah, my favorite number. 23. Or three. <laughs> Okay, when are you thinking about your rug hooking class after Mackinac? When am I thinking about doing the rug hooking class? Come on, Jessica, come on, talk about it. <laughs> Why do you look at me like you had an ask? <laughs> she, um, all of her classes from Mackinac will be the week of May 20th. So we will stagger those out each day. Um, but we haven't gotten that compacted down. I just got all the information. Right. Yesterday. So we got all the information ready. We're trying to do, uh, we're trying to cram them together. So if you come for two, three days, you could probably do three, four classes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they're all nice, simple little classes. And we'll do, we'll show them all again during a live again. And with those dates. Yeah. But it'll be the week of May 20th. Yeah. So if that works for you, you can call Peggy and say, Call me when you have all the details and I want uh, you're interested, or you can just wait until we put out the information. That's fine too. Probably next week or so. Okay. What else? We, the cult class. Did we narrow down a date for that one? We said fall because it's pretty jam packed coming. Okay. In, all right. In so summer. maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe in August we'll start doing some fittings. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Barb can start working on your fitting for the class, which will be like two separate things. You're going to have a fitting and then you're going to have a class. Yep. And the class is, an, is a two-day class, and you're going to hopefully stay overnight because, or you yes. can drive if you're local, yep. but we are going to be offering that one night mm -hmm. stay over and, and stuff like that. Yep. And then we do have a red, white, and blue retreat that is actually, we haven't even advertised for it, <laughs> that everyone knows from getting the calendar of events that we did during Primitive Christmas, and it is basically almost filled. So if that's something you're interested in doing, give Peggy a call and she can get you signed up and for it. And June... It's June um, 21st or something like that. What does that say, Kaylee? The 17th. June 17th. It's that whole week long. Yeah. So like you come in on Monday, we start on Tuesday, and then you uh, we finish on Saturday, and then you leave on Sunday if you want. And we, uh, in the past, I've been doing, taking one of my antique quilts and redoing an antique quilt. And mm -hmm. everybody seems to love that. So always fun. Yep. And what do you have there? So these are our specialty boxes. We just got them up on the website. And this year we're doing them as your specialty box. So your Christmas in July box. Okay. And then later on, they'll have to order for the holiday one because we had a lot of people that didn't know they had ordered and double ordered. And then we had So you're not going to put them at the same time. So we didn't put them at the same time. So this time you can order for our Christmas in July box, which actually ships the first part of August. Yes. It is under pre-orders right now, but we have figured out right now you are making a deposit of $5. Yay. And then what happens is July 1st, you will be charged for the remaining balance. So each of the boxes are $120. You can choose from the, we've divided it up based on comments and things like that. We've divided it up. So we have a cotton box and we have a wool box and we have a combination box. Oh. So your boxes are $120. They're worth more than $150. And then, so you can pick and choose what you want. If you would like the combination box, it is $200. Oh, so you give them a deal. So I give them a deal. And also all the goodies that are in the cotton box are also going to be in the wool box. So they're getting everything. So they're getting everything, but you're only going to get one of like the goodies. So how, if there's like a how many caramels? This might be like, <laughs> this might be a deal, you know. Well, I think if you're going to buy the combination one, I think maybe they should get a pound. Oh, wow. wow. You know, just, you know. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Right? Uh, little so are you going to show nope. what comes in those boxes? No, they're surprises. They're always surprises. So in the Christmas in July box, there are always projects geared towards projects that you can theoretically get done before Christmas time. Yes, yes. And then when we do our gift box, it's just an everyday item. Yeah, because obviously not, you can't get them done. They're just time. everyday, yeah. They're, mm -hmm. It's like a gift to yourself or for somebody to buy a box for you and it's not Christmas and it's not based on anything. It's just everyday project. Yep. So your Christmas in July box, you're going to run the same thing in December with, with <laughs> one cotton, one wool and yep. Woo, anybody who want a designing job. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But so you'll put a deposit, non-refundable deposit of five dollars down on for me. <laughs> and in July first, you will be charged then the one fifteen. Yeah, I like that better. I don't like holding your money that whole time. So I like it when I like now that we can do a deposit. Yep. So we'll okay. be working towards that. And the deposit is off the price, right? Yes. So it's one twenty. Right. You're gonna put a five dollar deposit down, so you won't have to pay. You'll pay one fifteen the next time it comes to your charge. Okay. What if they cancel it? They do not get the five dollars back. It's a okay. non-refundable five dollar charge. All right. So yeah, we always got to have one little you know thing in there. And I just wanted to point it out that you're not getting your five bucks back if you duck <laughs> out on us. <laughs> well, we order everything, so we need right. to know how yes. many. And yes. then if you duck out a month before, then we're stuck with more. So. Uh huh. Right. Yes. So Karen wants to move to Wisconsin, I see. Make me want to move to Wisconsin. You can come, come to Wisconsin. Down. It's a great state. Mm -hmm. well, we're, we're hoping for some rain, though. Everything is pretty low. I have an update on my dock. I actually have a new, brand new dock. Woo! I did a big one. Yay! First one in the... Because as soon as that happened, I'm like, call them up. Even want... your neighbors next door that were getting their... I think we might be... I don't know, but they had a brand new one last year. So I don't know if Ooh. they did... They did work on the brand new one from last year. Can you oh, it's how that would have felt if it was the, the, the guys right on the dock. The guys on the crane told me they had seventy-one docks. Oh, on our seventy-one. Did you get it insured? We're gonna figure out how to insure them next. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can't even. I can't He's even tell it. you how much it costs. It. You. You wouldn't even believe me if I told you. So there. There might be some. A few things going up for sale. <laughs> oh yes, it's 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 crazy how much that stuff costs. Yeah. You can't live without a dock. Not where I live. They yes. is our snow gone? It's oh, been gone since like the first of February. We didn't get any. We had one big snowstorm, and that was it. And then a two-week period, and then it froze, wrecked everything. <laughs> yep. And it was gone. Yeah, and it we're was still skiing. People are still skiing at Granite Peak and in, in oh. Wausau. There's still a lot of snow there. It's all man-made, obviously. All man-made yeah. skiing. It's yeah. pretty amazing what technology can do. <laughs> yes. All right. So if you want to jump on the holiday box, Christmas in July box, right? Yep. It's under specialty boxes. So type in specialty box into the search engine and it's going to come up for you. Awesome. And people are curious if you have examples of past boxes that we could perhaps. I know you don't have it like in your hands right do now. Do we have them in uh, YouTube videos? We, yeah, we, we do. Um, the follow your son. That's that big flower mat that we've shown a couple times. That was in there. Um, we have unboxing. Was right? it? Yeah, that green one with the with the pin cushion. Yeah, that yep. was that was mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A couple of that those. was the gift box. That wasn't the Christmas in July box. No, we'll have yeah. to think about it. They're always good. Mm -hmm. Just like the holiday boxes, or just like the subscription boxes. You gotta trust us. Remember, you're getting at a deal. Mm -hmm. Getting it at a deal. So you're getting like 33% uh, off. Should be, yes, because remember, we have some shipping in there. So that 120. Yes, so you're you're getting um a little over a hundred dollars worth of product, but then we have to throw on a little shipping because you know, costs a lot of money for shipping. Yeah, usually cost, I think about it's usually about anywhere between 18 and 22 to ship this because it'll be a pretty box inside of another box. And then you basically half of the price of shipping is built into the box. We okay. pay the other half as right. part of So the, we share shipping. Yes, we share shipping. Okay. Right. All right. Any other questions? I actually, yeah, I have a couple more. Good. I like uh, questions. Okay. I want to learn to punch needle. Is it difficult? Nope. I'm going to have a class the week of May 20th. Come, come, come do it with us. All right. Um, will you put a thread list out for Liberty Gatherings? Should sure. be out, but I'll make sure that it's on the listing. Okay. You might yes. And thank you for video. everybody. Is Liberty Gatherings can, full? Can, I think I it only has like a couple okay. spots left. So yeah. So you guys are awesome for uh, filling that up for us. I, I mean, I, I was amazed at how many people signed up. So thank mm -hmm. you for asking for that and for following through once we did do the work. Yeah. Because it, it takes a lot of work to go back and to reconfigure because you have different fabrics. It's not really easy and just say, oh, yeah, we'll just run it again. That's just not how it works. So mm -hmm. thank you for, uh, you know, sticking with us and, and doing that. All righty. Do, 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 do. do for the antique quilt or uh, coat. Yes. Do they need an antique quilt before the jacket class. Yes. Well, yes. Yeah. You're going to pick one. You, if you have one, if you make one, it doesn't have to be antique. Remember, it can be one of your quilts. 
It just needs to be a quilt, right? I'll have some for sale. Um, you can start looking now. There's lots of places to look for those this summer, you know, start going to uh, mm -hmm. thrift stores and rummage sales, I mine that kind of stuff. Show us. <laughs> she says hers was at the, on her desk. Let's see what she has picked up for her coat. And let me tell you, don't wear that coat if you don't want to be the center of attention. You're really going to cut this? I don't know, but this is what I got. <laughs> That's an interesting orange, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but I also but I'm also I'm also toying with the fact of taking the quilt that the dog chewed a hole in and that'd be the one. <laughs> and doing and working around that. I mean this would make don't get me wrong, it'd make an awesome quilt, it but it's beautiful. too pretty. It's too good yet. It's still a usable quilt. Yeah. So that's where I struggle mm -hmm. with cutting them apart. So, so we'll see. Tell Jess yes or no. Should she <laughs> use this quilt? All right. You know what they're going to say, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, are you doing a rummage sale this year? Or like the purge and splurge? We do. We have it coming up on the 8th. Heidi is working on the flyers as we speak the for that. The 8th of June. Sorry. June 8th. I'm not here. I know you're not. I know. Oh. I'm going to Moda. Do you see all of the comments? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. 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 Maybe somebody wants to buy it. Maybe somebody wants to buy it. I have to count them. Yeah. And if you have an overwhelming one way, you got to I have listen. one yes, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, They're all no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, problem, all right. problem is then, then I have to sneak this back into the house and say, oh, no. When my husband says, where did you get that? I'll be like, oh, I've had it forever. I just <laughs> took it out. Please yeah. give it to me. Yeah, yeah. please <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> okay, uh, what triangle papers will we need for the mini quilts? <laughs> don't know off the top of our head. All right. That will be in the information that's coming up with yep. that quilt yep, along, yep. right? I think the first one is only one inch. Mm -hmm. One Real inch ladies. for the first one. Okay. Will there be Mother's Day boxes like last year? I don't know. Do you want Mother's Day boxes? Tell us. Does you want just to curate a bunch of little cute little boxes for you? There will not be a mug in it. I can tell you that much <laughs> because they are out into June so far for the mugs, but I'm certainly happy to do something with them. All right. Maybe you can um, just do wools and fabrics and stuff like that. I have vintage quilt tops. Should I have them quilted? Depends. Here's my theory. Do you want quilts? Have them quilted. The only thing is, is you now moved it from whatever its era is. It now becomes circa 2024, which to me, now I have a quilt, right? You honor them, you honor yourself, and you now have a quilt that you can use. Um, it's totally up to you. It's your quilt. You own it. You can do whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, right? Um, I have a whole cupboard over there of quilt <laughs> tops, right? And there is a reason why some of them have never made it into quilts. And, you know, their borders are going... <laughs> And the, the ladies at the quilting bee said, oh, hell no, this ain't going on. Or, oh, not yet, honey, not yet, okay? Uh, so there's a reason. But if you could throw them on a long arm and get them long arm quilted, that can suck some of that stuff up where, you know, it might be difficult. So there's, there's a reason sometimes for quilt tops, antique quilt tops. But if you want quilts, I see nothing wrong with quilting them. I've seen there's a there's been a couple that the guys have quilted that people have yeah done they're amazing yeah they're on and the borders go like that and you're starching away in hopes that yep. they'll yep. suck it up a little yep because do you all know why that is right why do the border go like this anybody know because you lay your border on and you start sewing and you keep sewing and you keep sewing and you keep sewing and when you get to the end you cut it off <laughs> so what do you think you just did? Now, when you fold that over, your quilt could be a number of different sizes. But if you measure your quilt, measure, measure, and then you'd be like, okay, this averages out to 70 inches. So you cut your border 70 inches, you pin the ends, you find the middle, you find the middle of the quilt, you pin the middle, you pin the ends, you pin in between, and you sew it on. And guess what happens? Flat. All right, make your long arm quilter happy. <laughs> and put your borders on that way. Because let me tell you, 
it's, it's, it can be, you want to rip your hair out. And I know it's, it's not your fault if you don't know that. Okay. I see Rhonda's question about will a mug be included in the box that you have on the website now? No, there will not be a uh, holiday mug in Those here. are projects. Yep. And then a couple little goodies that we put in there, but no mug. All right. Last but not least, of course, what is the quilt behind you? Oh, yeah. We always want to thank you for asking about the quilt behind us because up next is comment sold. And this is one of our patterns that uses charm square. So this is my American gatherings one and two charm packs to make this quilt. And all it is, as you're making this block here, that's it. And the rest are just five, four and a half or five inch blocks or whatever it is. Five inch finishes at four and a half, right? I don't remember. Yeah. Don't give away the pattern. Don't give it away. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's easy enough. They got to figure out this. And <laughs> All right, it ain't rocket science. All right, our winners for today are, all right, I'm gonna pick the big prize winner. And that is Jamie Harris. You have won our daily grand prize. I'm gonna write big on here. And then Diane Bloyer and Denise Voss. Thank you girls for commenting today. Thanks everybody for joining us. Remember we have a comment sold after this. And just has a bunch of whole new stuff over there, including this pattern. We have kits for this, and we have done it in a Christmas version using flannel. So that'll be behind Jess today when we're doing the comment sold. All right. We have a new tagline, and I'm supposed to figure out how to use it, but it's every stitch tells a story. Well, what a great day to start with that. Right? Yeah. Bye now, everyone. <laughs>